Are you feeling stuck in a financial rut? Or perhaps you're just looking for that edge to elevate your personal and financial well-being. Whatever your reason, you're in the right place. In this video, we're not just talking about theory. We're talking about practical, life-changing strategies. And strategies that have stood the test of time have proven to transform the lives of those who truly understand and apply them. We're going to explore seven powerful principles that combine the timeless wisdom of Stoicism with the strategic genius of Miyamoto Masashi. These aren't just tips. They are life lessons that can reshape the way you view and handle your finances. Imagine being in control of your financial destiny, understanding the deep-rooted philosophies that have guided successful minds through history. That's what we're offering here. A no-nonsense, straight-to-the-point guide that's easy to understand and even easier to apply. From learning to adapt to every financial challenge to mastering the art of mindful spending. Each principle we discuss is a stepping stone to not just financial freedom, but personal empowerment. So, are you ready to break free from the chains of financial stress and step into a world of clarity and control? Stick with us as we unveil these seven principles, one by one, and show you how to apply them to stop being broke and start living a life filled with purpose, discipline, and financial savvy. Let's begin the journey to transform your life starting now. Let's dive into our first principle. Understanding control from stoicism and know the ways of all professions from Miyamoto Musashi. This principle is all about mastering the art of adaptability and focusing on what you can control, especially in your financial life. First up, Stoicism teaches us the power of focusing on what's within our control. In your finances, this means taking charge of your spending, saving, and investing decisions. It's about understanding that while we can't control the economy or the stock market, we can control how we react to these changes. Do you panic and make hasty decisions, or do you stay calm and think strategically? Stoicism encourages us to choose the latter. Know the when this with Musashi's wisdom. Know the ways of all professions. Musashi wasn't just talking about being a jack of all trades. He was emphasizing the importance of understanding different perspectives and skills, especially in today's ever-changing job market. This principle urges you to be versatile in your career and financial strategies. Are you diversifying your income sources? Are you learning new skills that could open up additional income streams? by combining Stoicism's focus on control with Musashi's call for versatility. You empower yourself to navigate the financial world with confidence. It's not just about making money, it's about making smart decisions that align with your capabilities and the ever-evolving market. Remember the first step to stopping being broke is to control your reactions and diversify your skills. It's about being prepared, adaptable, and resilient, no matter what financial challenges come your way. When you're focusing on what you can control, are you expanding your skills and knowledge to adapt to new opportunities? This is your first step towards a financially empowered life. Moving on to principle two, we're going to merge a vital stoic concept of embracing challenges with Musashi's wisdom of do not regret what you have done. This principle teaches us about the power of resilience and learning from our past, particularly in our financial journey. Stoicism isn't just a philosophy, it's a call to action, especially when facing tough times. Think about your financial challenges, maybe a lost job, a bad investment, or just poor spending habits. Stoicism teaches us to see these not as setbacks, but as opportunities to grow stronger and wiser. It's about asking, what can this situation teach me, instead of why is this happening to me? Now, let's weave in Musashi's principle. Do not regret what you have done. It's easy to look back at our financial mistakes with regret, but Musashi urges us to view our past choices as valuable lessons. Did a risky investment not pan out? That's a lesson in risk assessment. Did you overspend on something frivolous? That's a lesson in budgeting and self-control. By embracing our financial challenges and letting go of regret, we open ourselves to learning and growth. It's about turning every financial mistake into a stepping stone towards better financial decisions in the future. So, as you reflect on your financial path, remember to embrace the challenges and learn from your past decisions. This isn't just about fixing mistakes. It's about building a foundation of resilience and wisdom that will guide you to better financial health. How can your past financial challenges be your greatest teachers? 
How can you use those lessons to make smarter, more informed decisions moving forward? Embrace this principle and watch as you transform your financial struggles into sources of strength and wisdom. Welcome to Principle 3, where we blend the stoic ideal of living with purpose with Miyamoto Musashi's principle of perceiving that which cannot be seen with the eye. This is about aligning your financial actions with your deeper life goals and developing an intuitive understanding of your financial journey. Financialism teaches us the importance of living a life aligned with our core values and purpose. Now, let's apply this to your finances. It's not just about making money. It's about why you're making it. What are your financial goals? Are they to provide for your family, to achieve financial independence, or perhaps to support causes you care about? The Stoic principle encourages you to make financial decisions that reflect your personal values and long-term objectives. But now, let's intertwine this with Musashi's wisdom. Perceive that which cannot be seen with the eye. This isn't about mystical powers. It's about developing an intuitive understanding of your financial situation. It means looking beyond the numbers and understanding what they mean for your life. Are you just seeing monthly expenses? Or are you seeing the path to financial freedom? Are you just seeing a paycheck? Or are you seeing a tool for building your future? By aligning your financial decisions with your life's purpose and honing your intuition, you're not just managing money. You're crafting a financially empowered life. It's about seeing your finances as a reflection of who you are and who you want to become. So take a moment to reflect. I mean, how do your financial choices mirror your personal values and goals? How can you develop a deeper, more intuitive understanding of your financial health? Embrace this principle and you'll find your financial decisions becoming more meaningful and impactful. Remember, it's not just about the money. It's about what the money means for your life and the lives of those around you. Conversion, now let's delve into principle four. Combining the stoic practice of mindfulness with Miyamoto Mushes is of no use. This principle is all about making deliberate and thoughtful financial choices, ensuring every action and every penny serves a purpose. First, let's talk about mindfulness, a key aspect of stoicism. Mindfulness means being fully aware and present in each moment. When applied to finance, it's about being conscious of every financial decision you make. This isn't just about budgeting. It's about understanding why you're spending or saving. Are you buying something because you need it or just out of habit? Is your spending bringing you closer to your financial goals or taking you further away? Now let's blend in Musashi wisdom. Do nothing which is of no use. This is about efficiency and purpose in your financial actions. It's a call to eliminate wasteful spending and focus on what truly adds value to your life. Each dollar you spend should be a step towards your financial goals, not away from them. By practicing mindfulness and eliminating useless actions, you transform your financial habits. It's about being intentional with your finances, making each decision with purpose and clarity. This isn't about penny pinching. It's about making sure your financial actions are aligned with your goals and values. So ask yourself, are you mindful of your financial decisions? Are you spending on things that truly matter to you and serve your purpose? Embrace this principle and you'll see a profound shift in your financial life. You'll move from mindless spending to purposeful, goal-driven financial choices. Remember, every financial decision is an opportunity to move closer to your goals. Let's make each one count. Welcome to Principle 5 where we explore the stoic concept of accepting changes alongside Miyamoto Musashi's advice to adapt to your environment. This principle is crucial for financial resilience, teaching us to navigate the ever-changing financial landscape with agility and foresight. Let's start with the stoic wisdom of accepting change. In life, and especially in finance, change is the only constant. Markets fluctuate, new job opportunities arise, and unexpected expenses occur. Stoicism teaches us to embrace these changes, not fear them. It's about being flexible and ready to adjust your financial strategies as needed. Are you adaptable when your financial circumstances change, or do you resist and struggle? Now let's weave in Musashi's principle. Adapt to your environment. This is about being observant and responsive to the world around you. In finance, this means staying informed about economic trends and adjusting your budget investments and savings accordingly. It's not just about reacting to changes. It's about anticipating them and being prepared. 
By embracing change and adapting to your environment, you become financially nimble and savvy. It's about seeing change not as a threat, but as an opportunity to grow and improve your financial situation. How well do you adapt to financial changes? Are you proactive in updating your financial plans to suit the current environment? Embrace this principle, and you'll find yourself not just surviving, but thriving in the face of financial change. Remember, the ability to adapt is key to financial stability and growth. Stay flexible, stay informed, and be ready to pivot your financial strategies as the world changes around you. Principle 6 brings us to the heart of self-improvement with self-discipline from Stoicism and train rigorously from Miyamoto Musashi. This principle is all about cultivating discipline and dedication in your financial life, turning good practices into unshakable habits. First, let's talk about self-discipline, a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. In the realm of finance, self-discipline means sticking to your budget, saving consistently, and making investment decisions based on logic, not emotion. It's about having the strength to say no to unnecessary expenses and the foresight to plan for the future. Are you disciplined in your financial habits, or do you find yourself swayed by short-term desire? Zashi's principle, train rigorously, just like a warrior trains for battle. You must train yourself to manage your finances with precision and skill. This means educating yourself about financial matters, staying up to date with economic trends, and continuously refining your budgeting and investing strategies. It's not a one-time effort. It's an ongoing process of learning and improvement. And by combining self-discipline with rigorous training, you empower yourself to make wise financial decisions consistently. It's about building a strong financial foundation that can withstand the test of time and circumstances. Ask yourself, how disciplined are you in managing your finances? Are you continuously educating yourself and refining your financial strategies? Embrace this principle and you'll build not just wealth, but financial wisdom and strength. Remember, financial success isn't just about what you do. It's about how consistently and effectively you do it. Cultivate discipline and rigor in your financial life and watch as your financial stability and confidence soar. Finally, we arrive at Principle 7, a fusion of Stoic values about community and relationships, and Miyamoto Musashi's advice to do not seek to possess either goods or fiefs for your old age. This principle is about understanding the true value of wealth and how it relates to our relationships and community. In Stoicism, there's a strong emphasis on the importance of community and meaningful relationships. In terms of finance, this means recognizing that wealth isn't just about personal gain, it's about how it can be used to improve our relationships and contribute to our community. Are you using your financial resources just for personal indulgence, or are you also considering how it can benefit your loved ones and those around you? Do not seek to possess either goods or fiefs for your old age. This isn't just about avoiding greed. It's about understanding that accumulating wealth for the sake of wealth can lead to a hollow life. True wealth isn't measured by your bank balance, but by the richness of your relationships and the positive impact you have on others. It's about finding a balance between securing your future and living a fulfilling life now. By embracing the value of community and relationships in your financial decisions, you start to see money as a tool for creating a better life for yourself and those around you. It's about building a legacy that's not just about wealth, but about making a meaningful impact. So reflect on this. How does your financial planning incorporate the well-being of your community and relationships? Are you striking a balance between personal security and enriching the lives of others? Embrace this principle, and you'll find a more holistic and satisfying approach to your financial life. Remember, the true value of wealth lies not in what it can buy, but in what it can do to enrich your life and the lives of those around you. As we wrap up our journey through these seven Stoic principles Miyamoto Musashi to stop being broke, let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned. Today, we've explored a unique blend of Stoic wisdom and the timeless strategies of Miyamoto Musashi. These principles aren't just theories. They are practical tools for transforming your financial life and personal growth. We started with understanding control and knowing the ways of all professions emphasizing adaptability and focusing on what you can control in your financial life. Then we moved to embracing challenges and not regretting what you have done, 
learning to see financial obstacles as opportunities for growth. Living with purpose and perceiving beyond what is seen taught us to align our finances with our deeper goals, while mindfulnesses and doing nothing useless showed us the importance of intentional financial decisions. Accepting changes and adapting to the environment reminded us of the need for flexibility in an ever-changing financial landscape. In self-discipline and training rigorously, we learned the value of continuous learning and discipline in finance. Finally, community and relationships, and not seeking to possess goods for old age highlighted the true value of wealth in enriching our lives and those of others. But learning these principles is just the beginning. The real magic happens when you apply them to your life, so we encourage you to take these lessons and use them and reflect on your financial habits, make the necessary changes, and start building a life of financial freedom and personal fulfillment. And now we turn to you. Our viewers, we'd love to hear how you plan to apply these principles in your life. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Let's create a community of growth, support, and financial empowerment. Remember, the journey to financial wellness is ongoing. Keep learning, keep growing, and most importantly, keep applying these timeless principles. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Here's to your financial success and personal growth.